In today's video guys, we are diving deep, quite literally, into the messier sides of cleaning. You know the parts we all face but might not necessarily talk about, let alone record for the whole internet to see. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about those. Oh my word, how did that happen moments or the where did that even come from <laughs> cleanups. You know, it's the real unfiltered side of keeping a home clean um, that usually goes unseen. I'm excited about this video because I have been wanting to deep clean my toilet for quite some time and we're about to do that. So get your gloves on and let's get this cleaning started. Okay, so for the life of me, I cannot understand how that little, it looks like urine that gathers up at the bottom of the toilet. I do not understand how it gets there. I don't, I hope you know what I'm talking about, but like, like it's like at the bottom of, like at the foot of the toilet and it's just there and I just don't know where it comes from and it just kind of shows up randomly. But to clean my toilet, I used bleach and water the first time. Um, after I scrubbed it down and then the second time I just used water to rinse it off and this is my bathtub Don't judge me too harshly. Okay. <laughs> I w <laughs> I have been meaning to like deep clean um, and I am one of those people who I will not start a project until I know I can complete it on the same like day or time frame, you know, like I feel like 
I can't I don't I, I don't want to start something I unless I know I have enough time to get it done and it's such a strange thing um, because I'll do other things <laughs> like I'll do other tasks and not do that one task because I feel like I'm not mentally ready to tackle it in the complete sense which is like weird but let me know if you understand what I mean I'm the same way about working out too. Like I will not work out until I know, okay, if I, if I take a shower in the morning, then I'm not going to work out during the day. So for me to work out during the day, then I won't take a shower in the morning. <laughs> but if I don't take a shower in the morning, then I, I feel like I'm, I'm like setting my day late. <laughs> it's, it's such a weird thing, a weird way that I operate in my mind. I don't know why I do it like that. So it's like I have to be like in the right mindset or the right setting for me to for me to allow myself to to perform a certain task. And I, I don't know if it's just procrastination. It might be just procrastination. Um, but that's just kind of how I think about certain things. It's like I have to wait until the perfect moment or the moment where I feel like it's ideal for me to be able to perform it. And sometimes that just takes a long time to do something because you're always waiting for this right time. Um, so it's definitely something that I'm trying to challenge myself on is like stop waiting and just get it done when you have the time Get done as much as you can and leave whatever is remaining for later um, But yeah, that's the case with my bathroom is like I've always like my bathtub Especially I've just been like, oh, you know, I'm just I'm gonna clean it But I'm gonna clean it when I do a complete cleaning for this for this uh, bathroom that's when I want to clean everything together I don't want to clean little by little it's it's weird um, but we're working on developing some new cleaning habits and I'm excited to share that with you guys so stay tuned for that um, I just wanted to share with you like how my mind works sometimes and then to clean my bathtub I usually just use Comet I love Comet and I mix it up with uh, dish soap and that does such a great job but there was a lot of scrubbing that needed to be done here so uh, I'm just going to town scrubbing things up <laughs> Now, this is one of the things I mean when I say, how did that even get there? Like, my door is just full of stains that I don't understand where they came from. Like, what is going on here? My kids will touch everything and they will stain everything. And, <laughs> and I just, I don't even notice it until like, I don't know, until it's too late, I guess. And then I'm like, wow, this is like showing up um but in my other video i sh my vlog uh my last vlog i shared with you guys that my kids uh, had locked the <laughs> the bathroom <laughs> um and i had to like finagle my way into that bathroom guys guys kids are expensive they are really expensive okay and i have had to open that door multiple times now it's like even loose um as i was showing you guys i ended up tightening it i don't think i showed that here in this video but um i had to tighten it because it was loose from all the you know finagling to open it because i didn't have the correct key for it um but yo people say that kids are a handful they're expensive and i'm like it's not in the way that you think <laughs> it's not in just the fact that you have to buy them clothes or that you have to you know buy them toys they are expensive in that sometimes you have to clean up messes and uh fix things that you never knew you'd be fixing because you have kids honestly <laughs> oh they're they're um a handful because you have to finagle your way through opening the door uh because your child closed it after you told them to stop playing with the door for a million times um but i would never trade being a mother for anything else i love love being a mother <laughs> i
So the curtain that I got ended up being way too big and I had to replace it. So you'll see a different curtain at the end of this. These cherry blossoms are so beautiful. I did not know what to expect when I got them, but they just look really beautiful in my bathroom. Um, they are artificial, which is my, <laughs> which is where I like to be because I, I cannot keep up with plants with real plants um, but this one stand out really really good everything will be linked down below for you if you're interested in any of the items that you see on this video so make sure you click that link um, and then I have been really liking uh, disposable uh, towels and this ones that I got from Amazon are really nice they're pretty thick um, so they are very very good quality so I don't even I don't even keep hand towels in my bathroom anymore because of this because um, they just they work so much better and they're more hygienic so um, I really like those so check the description box if you're interested in any of those items Now you know you did something when you got that sweat dripping, okay? I did some serious scrubbing in that bathroom which was much needed. Now we're taking a bit of a segue to work on dinner before I clean my kids' bathroom. I'm just making us some rice, some spinach and corn with this Korean short ribs that I love. They're from Trader Joe's. This is how everything turned out. Um, it was really good. Um, I really love those short ribs. Um, I have been eating smaller portions. You guys will understand why here in a bit in another video. But um, yeah, so this was a hot dinner for today. Now let's tackle this bathroom. <laughs> don't even, don't, okay? My kids just, they have mastered the art of messing up a place, okay? They will leave toothpaste in the most unusual places. Um, so every morning, this is literally the scene uh, on the countertop. That's how it looks like almost every morning. Toothpaste everywhere. Um, they're definitely learning to be more independent. I do let them brush their own teeth sometimes and do some reinforcements with them. So we're definitely working on, you know, not spreading it every single place and keeping it in the mouth. Um, but yeah, let's let's tackle this mess. <laughs> Mellow yellow clouds in the morning, morning Ready for the day, hear it calling Catch your breath before you fall in, fall in East side to west side, I'm coming
it's so stunning These streets of yours keep it moving Follow your heart Follow your heart, follow your heart This is the start This is the start for you cleaning the bathrooms is definitely one of my least favorite tasks to do even more boring than than laundry um, so I always dread having to do it um, but when you do it it feels good okay like I like I showed you guys earlier drinking water after I finished all of that tasks like it's a workout for me and I love it um, <laughs> but yeah having to, to do all that scrubbing deep cleaning the the bathtubs and everything oh goodness I do not enjoy it but it's got to get done right we got to get it done and who else is gonna do it unless you want to hire somebody which I'm not at that level yet <laughs> um, but when it comes to like scrubbing those um, the tub like the the little scrubber that I was using is just perfect I've actually tried other ones I've tried like the electric ones which I just did not like at all because it didn't give me enough I didn't feel like I could, you know, uh, move it as much because I want to be able to like um, actually scrub myself instead of just using letting the electric brush do all the work. So that that um, that brush is really handy and it's it's been really good at cleaning up those tabs. And then I just wanted to make sure that I you know cleaned all the doors in my bathrooms as well because I de it's definitely a task that I have been neglecting. So definitely making sure that I'm tackling those as I'm going through the bathrooms. This is part of my spring deep cleaning. So um, it definitely works for me to get it done. Would you like coffee or tea? Okay, now with the toilets all looking clean and sparkling, 
let's transition to the kitchen okay we're literally moving from one battlefield to another you might say but as we shift this focus guys I also want to shift the conversation and actually hear from you so let me know in the comments down below what is your most dreaded cleaning task and how do you conquer it um, as I said the bathroom is my most dreaded my most dreaded cleaning task and for me uh, <laughs> I need to get out of the mindset of waiting until everything has piled up before I clean especially when it comes to deep cleaning I don't have a problem doing day-to-day -day tasks sometimes it's usually like the deep cleans that I usually struggle with um, so it's a matter of like just getting out of my head and allowing myself to focus on the task and get it done because even cleaning the bathrooms like it you know it's always more daunting than it is like it didn't even take that long to finish them um but i just kind of made the the task seem so big in my mind that it was hard for me to do it but yeah drop your stories down below and also leave your tips i would love to hear it you guys always have great tips and suggestions so please share them with us in the comments you hate me cause i'm stronger take a picture it might last you longer yeah i've been living sky high ten feet taller yeah i'm doing better than i've ever been i'm putting on my makeup checking out the shot of all the good stuff shining when i wake up ah 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 hi how are you talking forget you like nobody is watching I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in to today's video we were able to clean some of those messy nasty gross uh, places in our homes today I hope it gave you the motivation to clean your home and not feel bad about how gross it can get because that is real life toilets get nasty they get dirty but they get cleaned up as well um, I actually <laughs> I'm very bad at this but I always have a bad habit of like not finishing my especially my kitchen videos completely where I don't show the after but you can see that I that I cleaned it up um, I did not show I filmed a video of me like putting together this table because I got a new table and dining chairs but I ended up not showing that video here I don't know why but 
I did get a new dining table um, and I'll share that more in another video if you guys want me to. Um, it is from Target. I will link it down below as well. Um, I was just cleaning up after a birthday party for the boys and that video is also coming up as well. So stay tuned for all these great videos, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for um, your encouragement and your support. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, I'll be seeing you on another one very soon leave me a like and a comment down below and i'll see you in another video guys thank you bye bye